A very good morning, boys and girls. How are you? I'm Reverend Victor, and it's a delight to be with you again this term. Many of you will remember me from visiting the school back when that was possible. Please God, it will be possible again as we fight the coronavirus, the COVID-19, that it will be possible to have visitors in school again. But until that time, I'm back online with our school assemblies. And first of all, I especially want to welcome and say hello to the junior infants who are beginning their educational journey here in Clonina, in Clonina National School. So boys and girls, I wish you very well. I know you will be very, very happy. I know that you'll come to love Clonina National School and to the sixth class boys and girls to say a very warm congratulations to you as you come to the end of your national school education as you begin to prepare for your journey uh, onwards to secondary school. You're probably already giving some thought to the schools that you will uh, one day go to, but that's ahead in the future. But good luck uh, for your final year in school and for all of you there in Clonina National School, a very, very good morning to you all. Um, God bless you and God be with each and every one of you and to your teachers and your classroom assistants and your SNAs, everyone as well, uh, a very good morning and to Shirley there in the office, a very warm hello to you. And of course, not forgetting your principal, Miss Burnell. Now, boys and girls, uh, as part of the assemblies, I like to talk on a topic and then we have prayer at the end. But I thought for our first assembly today that we would learn the Lord's Prayer, which some Christians call the Our Father, because it begins with the word Our Father. And uh, we're not talking about our dads at home or our uncles or our granddads. We're talking about our Father in heaven. It's incredible, isn't it? Each and every one of us was created by God and so he is father of each and every one of us. Even if, like me, your dad has died or perhaps your dad lives somewhere else, you don't have a dad at home, we have one another, a father in heaven, a reminder that he loves us, God loves us, and he brought us all into existence. So boys and girls, I have in my hands here the prayer book, and the prayer book is full of lots of different prayers, and it includes, of course, the Lord's Prayer. So what I'll do, boys and girls, is I'll just read it to you first slowly, explain it a bit, and then we'll say it together and we'll finish with the school prayer. Is that okay? Great. Now, our Father who art in heaven. Now, boys and girls, that's old English, and it literally just means our Father, the Father of us all, God, lives in heaven, who is in heaven. Or we could say in modern English, our Father in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed might ring a bell which you were coming up towards on the 31st of October. Halloween, holy evening. Hallowed is an ancient word meaning holy. We'd talk about hallowed ground, a church or a cemetery is hallowed ground. It's a holy place. And likewise, uh, Halloween all Hallows Eve is a holy evening uh, and that's so that's why it's called Halloween and uh, as I say hallowed is an old word meaning holy so holy is thy name thy is an old word as well so holy is your name holy is God's name thy kingdom come and uh, we imagine God there as a king a ruler and we want to be part of his kingdom we want his kingdom to be here on earth and in heaven we want all people to come to know God to experience his love and his kindness and his mercy so let your kingdom come that's what we're saying to God let his kingdom begin thy will be done well that should be a fairly easy one let God's will be done, God, uh, what God wants. Uh, God desires everything that's good for us. God wants us to be happy. God wants us to be well. So let the things that God wants come to be on earth as it is in heaven. So at this moment in time, we live here on earth and we communicate with God through prayer. But one day we will be in heaven with all the other uh, people 
who believed in God over the years and who God loved and has willed to come into heaven with him. So at the moment God is in heaven, we are on earth, but we long for the day when there will be just one heaven, one earth. Give us this day our daily bread. Well, in ancient times, boys and girls, most people just lived on bread. And uh, each and every day they had to go out and try to find the money to eat bread. We're very lucky in, in modern times that there isn't so much poverty as there were in past times. But we're looking to God to help us, to sustain us. So we talk about God giving us our daily bread. In other words, we're asking God for help to stay alive, to continue to exist, basically. Forgive us our trespasses. Okay, so we're asking God's forgiveness for our trespasses. That's an unusual word which you mightn't have heard of before. You might see signs on building sites saying trespassers will be prosecuted or trespassers will be sued. Uh, a trespass is when you do something wrong. Like if you climb over a fence onto a building site, we see the building work that's going on in the school at the moment. That fence is there to keep you safe. There could be machinery, dangerous uh, works in the ground, um, pipes exposed or holes in the ground that you could fall into and injure yourself. So that's the reason for the fences there, to keep trespassers out, to keep people who shouldn't be there out. So when we ask God to f forgive us our trespasses, we're basically asking God to forgive us the things that we've done wrong, our sins. And forgive those who trespass against us. Well, again, boys and girls, that's, that's uh, an easy one too. So we're asking God to forgive our sins, but we're also forgiving the sins of those around us who have hurt us, who have upset us, who have made us sad. And we pray to God uh, for the help to forgive them. We pray to God to forgive them because ultimately we all want to get along, to be kind to one another, to support one another, to be generous and to help one another. And lead us not into temptation. Okay, so a situation of temptation is where we might think of doing something wrong. We could be tempted again to climb the fence into the work. So hopefully none of you have been tempted to do anything like that, to climb into a building site. That would be very dangerous indeed. You might be tempted to steal something, to take something that doesn't belong to you. It might come into your head, I'd like that pen or I'd like that book, I'll take that. Well, that's wrong. So the temptation, we're asking God to help us when we're tempted to do wrong. So um, we ask God if, if we feel uh, a desire to take something that doesn't belong to us or to say something nasty or to tell a bad joke about someone, uh, to ask God for his help to stop us doing uh, wrong, to prevent us from going on to do something wrong. But deliver us from evil. So that's, um, we're asking God to keep us safe from evil, to keep us safe from the devil who wishes to cause us harm, and that God will always be with us at every step of life's journey to guide and to protect us. So we pray to Jesus, we pray to God the Father, we pray uh, for his help, his inspiration, and to protect us and keep us safe. Now, the, big, the end of the Lord's Prayer is quite long and difficult. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'll just read that again. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Basically, we're saying there that God is all-powerful. No one is more powerful than God. There's nothing in the universe more powerful than God. And that's what we're just acknowledging there. So boys and girls, will we say together the Lord's Prayer so you can repeat after me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory 
forever and ever. Amen. Amen means so be it, let it be. And we give that a really loud Amen. Amen. Because this is what we desire. This is what we want. Now, boys and girls, I'll finish with the school prayer. And I'm sure um, you all know it. Um, so our school prayer. This is our school. Let peace dwell here. Let the room be full of contentment. Let love abide here. Love of one another, love of life itself, and love of God. Amen. Boys and girls, it's been a joy to be with you this morning. I look forward to having more assemblies online with you. And eventually, please God, I'll be able to come back into the school. We'll have assembly uh, in, in the class once again uh, as our fight against the coronavirus continues. So boys and girls, have a lovely weekend. Uh, I hope you're continuing to enjoy your time in Clanina National School. God bless you all. Bye bye.